Rao Qian Runshui didn't say a word to smile. She had dreamed of this step when she saw Shui Bang, and almost didn't laugh and explode. Marshal Solhal, there are you, my grandfather, and more than twenty title Du Luo, a huge soul master legion. What kind of mentality does my stupid emperor have? Dare to dream such a big head dream? Qian Runshui couldn't help feeling very funny. What's more ridiculous is that she really can't imagine her own mother on the surrender list, praying for surrender. If there is that day, as the pride of a strong man, she would rather die than surrender. How do you bully him, can't you allow him to daydream? Bibi Dong smiled. However, in the next paragraph of the dream, Bibi Dong couldn't laugh. Martial Soul Palace prays for surrender, ha ha, very good. I heard that the Pope is the most beautiful in the world. The charm is still there, if you want peace. Let the Pope come to sleep for me, and I will consider letting you go in Martial Soul City. Everyone. Shui Bang said with a wild laugh. The avalanche that fell asleep in bed didn't realize that there were two substantive black air on the roof of Owen's house. Avalanche. This seat made you bloody, Bibi Dong said through gritted teeth. However, thinking of his future plans, Bibi Dong still resisted the anger in his heart. Just one step away. Qian Runshui and Bibi Dong are about to come in and take the life of Shui Bang. The dream of avalanche continued. Fortunately, the dude of avalanche did not see the true face of Pope Bibi Dong. Therefore, Bibi Dong was spared from appearing in his disgusting dream. Wearing a dragon robe, he said in the Great Hall, Today, in celebration of the destruction of the Star Luo Empire and the destruction of the Martial Soul Palace, I decided to hold a beauty pageant across the continent and accept 3,000 beauties in the harem to enrich my harem. Then the beauty contest began. For the beauty of the entire Duluo continent to become Emperor Shui Bang, Duluo continent, among the 3,000 beauties, there are many characters that Qian Runshui is familiar with. Dugu Bo's granddaughter Dugu Gu School Fireworks Dance of Blazing Academy. Yi Lingling of Nine Heart Begonia Shui Binger of Tian Shui University. Tang Yuehua of Yushuan Pavilion Ning Rongrong of Kibao Liuli Sect. The granddaughter of the Dragon Snake, Meng Still. And many more. Fortunately, Shui Bang hadn't seen Duluo Continent, otherwise he was afraid that he was going to catch all the beauties who had the top number in the entire book. Even Qian Runshui felt that it was fortunate that what she showed in front of the avalanche was only Shui Qingyi's side, otherwise she would see herself appearing in his dreams, and she would be too disgusting to eat. To dominate the Duluo Continent, I just think about beauty pageants. It seems that this is the case for my little brother. It seems that the biggest threat comes from my prince uncle. Qian Runshui said with slightly narrowed eyes. Suddenly, she saw a familiar figure in the harem of the avalanche. This beast, in the picture, among the 3,000 beauties of avalanche's harem, avalanche's little sister and princess Shuiqi Hao Ran are among them. Even own little sister didn't let it go. The dream of avalanche is continuing. He flopped the cards casually and revealed the brand of Dugu Yan, and said, Today, let Dugu noble concubine come to attend me to bed. Then it is loved to hear. Bibi Dong wiped away the mist of the avalanche dream. It doesn't matter if you look at these pictures, but don't let your daughter see them. I don't know what old Poison would think when he saw this dream. Qian Runshui said teasingly. It's a pity, my little brother has such a guilty heart, but I don't have the guts. Put it into reality, I'm afraid he can't even think about it. He dared to think, I will let him dare to do it, let him become a doer. Bibi Dong smiled. Doer? My dreams can affect the behavior of real people to a certain extent, and they won't be noticed. Bibi Dong said, It just so happens, since he is such a person, let me give him a trick. With that, Bibi Dong launched a nightmare, and the mist of the nightmare entered the avalanche mansion, covering the avalanche in it. That said, when does Prince Xueixing usually contact Dugu Bo? Will he bring Dugu Goose? Bibi Dong asked. It's hard to say, unless Prince Xueixing has something necessary. Otherwise, Dugu Bo will not take the initiative to find Prince Shui Xing, and Dugu Goose will not go. But it will be Prince Shui Xing's birthday in 15 days. Dugu Bo I will definitely go. As for the lone goose, not sure. Qian Runshui said. Wait. You plan to use the avalanche to destroy the relationship between Dugu Bo and Prince Shui Xing? Qian Runshui asked as if thinking of something. Certainly, however, I won't let him have a chance to succeed. Bibi Dong gave Qian Runshui a relieved look. Qian Runshui was relieved now. She has nothing to do with Dugu Goose, but she doesn't want her stupid, Odudu, to ruin this woman. Fifteen days from now. Bibi Dong manipulated the nightmare and said, Then I will let Shui Bang have another fifteen days of beautiful dreams. 
After everything was done, the sky was close to dawn, and Qian Runshui and Bibi Dong had only left Shui Xing's prince's palace, and no one knew the whole process. The sun shone in, and Shui Beng reluctantly woke up from that fragrant dream. He lifted the quilt and saw the embarrassing scene. A pillar of the sky. No way, yesterday's dream was too real. Thinking of the perfect figure of the lone goose in the dream, he twisted his body like a water snake and waited on his own picture, and Shui Beng couldn't help swallowing. This kind of stunner in the world is not something that I can taste from Gulan and Liangjia. Looking at the sunshine outside the window, I think of my big brother Shui Qingyi's undying smiling face. Whenever I losing face, I always say one sentence, my stupid little brother yo. The dream is so beautiful and the reality is so cruel. Suddenly Shui Bang doesn't want to face the reality and wants to sleep. Suddenly, the door was kicked open, and a fat middle-aged man in Chinese clothes walked in. Shui Bang, it's all now, you're still sleeping. I asked you to pretend to be a dude, not to make you really a dude. Shui Xing said with a hatred of iron and steel. I see, uncle. Shui Bang stepped down and said, by the way, uncle, how do you think I should pursue the lone geese? Pursuing the dugu goose. Shui Xing shook his head and said, don't think about it. Recently, she and the boy from the blue lightning tyrant Longzong have been walking very close. I don't see any chance. Let Shui Bang pursue the dugu goose as Shui Xing's idea, but unfortunately, Shui Bang does not live up to his talents not to mention his talent, and he is still a dude. At least he looks like a dude in front of the Dugu Goose, and Shui Bang's love enemy, Yu Tianung, wants his family. There is a family background, you must be talented and talented, the top martial soul blue electric Tyrannosaurus, no matter how you look at it, it is much better than the ugly swan. No chance. Shui Bang said unwillingly, that's because Dugu Goose and Yu Tianung are in the same class, uncle, you transferred me to the Wangdu Academy, wouldn't I have a chance? You figured it out, Dugu Yan and the others are top students in the genius class. Just like you, can you get into this genius class? Don't forget, the chiefs of Wangdu Academy are your brother's people, Shui Xing said. Furthermore, take a pee and take a good photo of yourself, to see how you compare to Yu Tianung. Prince Shui Xing shook his head and said. My prince. Shui Bang said, the prince of the Heaven Do Empire. Yu Tianung is the future sect leader of the Blue Lightning Tyrant Dragon Sect the current heir. This identity is no worse than your identity as the prince. Besides, you are just a dull prince, he is the future heir, you say what? Shui Xing said. Shui Bang said dissatisfiedly, dude, am I dude? If you didn't make me pretend to be dude, would I still need it? Shui Xing said, anyway, do goo goose, you don't have to think about it. Be your dude prince with peace of mind. When you find evidence that your big brother murdered your other two elder brothers in the future, the future heaven do throne will be yours. Ends. Yeah. Shui Bang nodded. Prince's mansion. After listening to Bibi Dong's plan, Qian Runshui said, It seems that my cheap imperial brother, this time I am immortal and must be peeled off. However, this plan, will it be too? If you want to achieve an extraordinary cause, you must use extraordinary means. If you want Dugu Bo to join us, don't let him be involved with Shui Xing. Bibi Dong said, I just magnified the desire in Shui Bang's heart. All actions are based on the avalanche himself, so there will be no possibility of exposure. For more than 10 days, I have lived in the prince's mansion. After 15 days, I will show you a good show, Bibidong said. Qian Runshui smiled slightly and said, Then I am very much looking forward to what ridiculous things my emperor will do. When you are making 5,000 yuan a day, and you say that I will make 100 million tomorrow, then this is a dream, daydreaming. But when you find a way to set a goal and say that I will earn 8,000 tomorrow, this is a goal. Shui Bang, now just a dude prince, wants talent, has no talent, wants an image and has no image, and has been suppressed by his big brother all the time. If he had a dream, dreaming that he would sit on the throne, destroy Xingla, level the martial soul palace, unify the Duluo continent, and collect all the beauty of the world, then when he wakes up, Shui Bang is very awake, because this is simply impossible. Things reached. He can also distinguish what is a dream and what is reality, but the dreams that he has continuously in the next few days are not so far away, on the contrary, they are very close to the avalanche. The dreams of the past few days have all pointed out how avalanche can lead to success. In his dream, he attacked Dugu Goose, became Dugu Bo's grandson-in-law, and gained the support of a titled Duluo. Above the court, he didn't have to pretend to be a dude, nor was he afraid of his big brother. He was above the court, pointed the country and written passionately, 
and gradually gained the support of the Shuiya Great Emperor, and at night, singing with the Dugu Goose night and night, it was so uncomfortable. Later, he attacked Ning Fengji's daughter, Ning Rongrong, and managed to win the support of the Kibao Glazed Glass Sect, and his stupid big brother Shui Qing completely lost power after losing the support of the Kibao Glazed Glass Sect. The emperor father passed the throne to himself, and at the moment he ascended to the throne, he imprisoned his stupid emperor brother in a cell and severely ravaged him, making him worse than death. After several days of dreams, Shui Bang realized that the key to his success was the lone geese. Shui Bang came to Prince's own uncle Snowstar and asked, Uncle, do you think Dugu Bo is really that important? What is that big? Shui Xing asked. That is, if I get his support, can I compete with my dage for the throne? Shui Bang asked. Then what do you mean? Shui Xing said with a smile. Dugu Sr. is also a titled Duluo. If he can support you, you will have the right to speak in the entire court, so you don't have to be afraid of you. The cruel Dage harmed you. However, isn't Dugu Bo supporting us now? Wouldn't it be good for him to support me on the face? Shui Bang asked. You don't understand. He is used to idle clouds and wild cranes. I just used a personal affection to tie him. Shui Xing shook his head and said. Unless I use this favor, he can't intervene in our royal seat. It's in dispute, but when you use things like favors, you're gone. If so, if I take down Dugu Goose and become his grandson-in-law, will Dugu Expo help me? Shui Bang asked. Shui Xing laughed and said, You only understand now that this is the purpose I asked you to do this thing. It is not simply to see how beautiful Dugu Goose is, but to draw Dugu Bo behind her. If we have a relationship, our relationship with Dugu Bo will be more intimate and Dugu Bo is even more unlikely to allow your dage to harm you. Uncle. Shui Bang smiled slyly, and said, Guide to Dugu Goose, do you think I still have a chance? You. Shui Xing cast a glance at Shui Bang and said, I hope you will be the granddaughter of Dugu Bo, but depending on this situation, I am afraid that people will become the sect leader of the Blue Power Tyrant Dragon Sect. I advise you, or install this dude with peace of mind, and you will find evidence of dage's cruelty to his brothers in the future. Heaven Do's throne will be yours. Yu Tianung. Shui Bang didn't listen to the words behind Prince Shui Xing. He only felt that Yu Tianung had robbed own woman and his only chance, he gritted his teeth. However, Shui Bang did not give up, he is a very ambitious person, has a persistent pursuit of power and beauty, if he can get a lone goose, he will receive both power and color. Over the years, he has been living in the shadow of his dage. Every day, he can only disguise himself as a dude. After all the mocking eyes of the people around him, he has been suppressing himself, but he can't see the hope of overthrowing Dage. Now, he understands that the Dugu Goose is his own hope of turning over. With the help of the Dugu Goose, he stepped onto the first step and was pursuing Ning Rongrong to obtain the support of the Seven Treasure Glazed Glass Sect behind him. He was directly supported by three titled Duluo. Take down own Dage, it's not a problem at all. However, the emergence of Yu Tianung turned out to block his hope. Yu Tianung, now, besides own Dage Xueqing, Shui Bang hated another person. That night, Shui Bang dreamed again, and the dream continued, but this was not a beautiful dream, but his nightmare. He pursued the Dugu Goose to no avail, while Shui Qing was on the contrary. Behind him was the support of the entire Kibao Glazed Glass Sect. His talent was valued by his father, and the power of the entire court turned to Shui Qing. Even Prince Shui Xing gave up his own uncle and joined his big big brother camp, and lost the support of Shui Xing, he was nothing. Until Shui Qing ascended to the throne, and he became a prisoner. He sat high on the throne, while he was imprisoned in the secret room of the underground prison and suffered inhuman torture every day. My stupid emperor, don't think you pretended to be dude all these years. I don't know. The reason why you are left is just to set off my wiseness with your dude. In front of me, you will always be just a trash. Shui Bang woke up from the dream. This nightmare shocked Shui Bang's heart. I pretend to be dude, do I know Dage? No, no, this is just a dream. Shui Bang wiped the sweat off his face and said. Although it was just a dream, it also frightened Shui Bang. On this day, as usual, he invited a few friends, friends, and friends to go out to visit the brothel, but on the way he met the three of Ning Fengzi Bone Du Luo and Shui Qing. He actually read the abuse from Shui Qingyi's eyes. In Shui Qingyi's eyes, it was as if he was a clown on a stage. Shui Bang's heart trembled suddenly. Could it be that I have always pretended to be a dude thing? Dage didn't notice it, but knew it from the beginning. He just borrowed my self-stigma to set off his own prestige. If he was on the throne, I will be destined to have no hope. 
the whole day, the avalanche was spent in fright. He feels that the dream is real more and more, and own Dage knows the fact that he is disguised. His uncle is likely to fall to Dage Schwetching without any hope. And he will eventually become an abandoned son, and once Dage ascends to the throne, he will become a fish in his hands. No. No no no, this kind of thing absolutely can't happen, Shui Bang said. Shui Bang entered the luxury spot in Tiando City, bought flowers, bought diamond rings and other things that attract women, and went to the genius class of Wangdu Academy, and found the woman who can decide her destiny and move towards the key, Dugu Goose. He put the flowers into a heart shape, and asked Don to open the banner, which read, Dugu Goose, I love you. Then, he went straight to Dugu Yan and said, Yan Yan, I love you, please associate with me. The lone geese said disgustedly, Shui Bang. How many times I have said, I have no interest in you, don't bother me. Goose, don't, Goose, do you think I still have a chance? Shui Bang didn't really like Dugu Goose in his heart. He wanted to save himself. Naturally, he didn't want to give up the opportunity to win Dugu Bo to establish his own power through Dugu Goose. At this time, a thunder dragon's claw grabbed Shui Bang's salted pig's hand, and then, Shui Bang turned his head, but saw Yu Tianung with an angry expression on his face. Shui Bang, I remember how many times I said, don't bother Yan Yan again, otherwise I will meet once, I will fight once, others are afraid of your identity as a prince, I am not afraid. With that said, Yu Tianung punched Shui Bang in the abdomen and knocked him flying on the spot. On this day, Shui Bang returned to the own room in embarrassment, and he lay down on the bed a little frustrated. The dream continued, and this time, his dream became much more real. On the birthday of Prince Shui Xing, Avalanche led the lone geese into the garden, sealed the lone geese with the fragrance of the soul, and brought the lone geese into the secret room to strengthen the lone geese. During the whole process, he used image crystals to record the whole process. The next day, Dugu Goose woke up and found that she had no shoes on her body, and her whole body was in severe pain. He was tied to the bed and Shui Bang sat beside her. No matter how stupid she was, she knew what had happened. She wanted to kill Shui Bang but found that her spirit power was blocked. Why? Why do you treat me like this? Dugu Yan asked with tears streaming down his face, looking at the avalanche with murderous intent. Shui Bang sat in front of her and said, I said, I like you, even with the most nasty methods, I want to get you. You are not clean anymore, your body belongs to me, can you Tianung still accept you? Shui Bang laughed. I want my grandpa to kill you, Dugu Yan said angrily. Kill me provided that you can accept this thing to spread to the world. Shui Bang smiled and took out an image crystal to present everything that happened yesterday to Dugu Goose. Tell you quietly, I have thousands of similar crystals. This. Dot you, you are shameless. Dugu Yan said bitterly, but there was nothing to do with Shui Bang. Ha ha ha, as long as I die. Don't think about it, Goose, Goose, you still follow me, anyway, you now belong to me, in the future, when I become the emperor. I will be my concubine, with power all over the world. What's wrong? Shui Bang Yingdang smiled. Helplessly, for the sake of its own reputation, the lone geese could only survive the avalanche, but after a long time in love, the lone geese finally fell in love with the avalanche. With the support of Dugu Bo behind Dugu Goose, Shui Bang is finally qualified to challenge his stupid dage. After that, Ning Rongrong also grew up, and Shui Bang used the same method to manage Ning Rongrong. After marrying Ning Rongrong, he brought seven treasure glazed glass sect from Big Brother. Big Brother, Xueqing became a rootless grass. In the end, Shui Beng became the new emperor of the Tiando Empire, Shui Beng the Great, and Shui Qing became a prisoner. Avalanche embraces Huo Wu, Shui Binger, Dugu Goose, Ning Rongrong. Standing in a high position, looking at the own Big Brother condescendingly, he said triumphantly, My stupid Big Brother, I didn't expect you to have today. Come here, cut off his limbs, cut a man's stick, and soak in the wine tank. Keep it. During the day, the big-headed dream of Avalanche was the end of his sleep. He sat up from the bed and carefully recalled the dream he had made yesterday. This is too real, and the feasibility is very high. Why haven't I thought of it before? Shui Bang felt more and more that this dream was very feasible. He patiently resisted the excitement in his heart, thinking about the devilish figure of the Dugu Goose in his dream thinking that he was going to be supported by a titled Duluo, thinking that in the future, he would slam Dage Xueqing under his feet, picture. His heart was extremely excited, so he got up and immediately left the prince's mansion and headed to the black market in Heaven Do City. 
At the black market stall, the stall owner recognized that it was Shui Bang, and said, Rare customer, rare customer, it is Prince Shui Bang, I don't know what you are doing here at my stall. I'm looking for you to buy the antidote for San Hunxiang and San Hunxiang, Shui Bang said. Soul fragrance and antidote. Come, hear it, hear you. The shopkeeper took out four boxes of medicine and handed it to Shui Bang. Shui Bang took the medicine and paid the money and left in a hurry. Ecstasy is a kind of medicine, and it is also a kind of medicine for soul masters. Ordinary ecstasy can use their own soul power to force it out, but the first two words of sacred incense are sacred soul. When it releases, it will dissipate the soul power of the soul master, making it useless, just like a mortal. Of course, soul scent is not omnipotent, it is only useful for people below the soul king. In the prince's mansion, Bibi Dong was sitting on the sofa with his legs folded together, one end supporting his chin, and the other shaking the red wine in his hand, and said. The avalanche has already been set. If nothing happens next, there will be a good show to watch. Qian Runshui smiled and said, I kind of hope Shui Bang will die in the hands of the furious Dugu Bo, but I don't want him to die like this. After all, if nothing else, he is the final winner. How can a winner make him out so easily? Bibi Dong said, it shouldn't be, unless I fail and let him succeed, otherwise Dugu Bo is stupid and will not risk offending an empire to kill a prince, besides, he and Shui Xing still have it, it's a favor. Qian Runshui nodded, her beautiful eyes flashed with a pleasant expression, and said, I look forward to that day. Things are going on at the same time. After the relationship between Snow Star and Dugu Bo is separated, we should also go to the Sunset Forest. We will find Dugu Bo to borrow the Feng Shui treasure land and use it. I have sent someone to summon Ju Du Luo over. No one knows the fairy grass in the sunset forest better than him, Bibi Dong said. To deal with Dugu Bo, I'm afraid the porcupine Du Luo will be necessary to prevent him from dying and breaking the net. Qian Runshui nodded. If you count your mother, there are at least three title Du Luo, one of them is Super Du Luo. I don't know the old poison, do you like this gift? Shui Bang returned to the prince's mansion after buying the incense. If he remembered correctly, that dream reminded him that Prince Uncle Shui Xing's birthday was an opportunity, and Shui Bang decided to meet Prince Shui Xing. He came to Prince Shui Xing's room and knocked on the door. Come in. Shui Xing said. After a while Shui Xing looked at his nephew and asked, Is there anything you want to do with me? Uncle, I want to ask, will the lone goose come on your birthday? Shui Bang asked. Shui Xing glanced at Shui Bang and said, my friendship with Dugu Bo Sr. is my friendship with him, and the relationship between us, Dugu Goose generally does not come. You have seen my birthday. When did that girl Dugu Goose come here? Shui Xing said. Shui Bang frowned. He didn't usually care about this. After thinking about it carefully, it was indeed the case. Dugu Bo has never brought Dugu Goose to uncle's mansion as a guest, and uncle has done nothing. Thinking of the plan in his mind, Shui Bang said. Then uncle, can you also invite Dugu Goose to come here as a guest? It seems that you haven't given up your heart yet, Shui Xing said. Of course. Shui Bang said, uncle, do you really think that you can always hold a title Du Luo by just a favor? I don't think so. If I can win the Dugu Goose, the relationship between us and Dugu Bo it's a kiss and a kiss. When the time comes, there will be a title Du Luo standing behind me, and I'm not afraid of Dage, right? What you said is correct. But how do you plan to make Dugu Goose fall in love with you? You can't use a strong one. After all, she is Dugu Bo's granddaughter, Shui Xing said. Hearing Dao use the word, Chang, Shui Bang's pupil shrank slightly, and he quickly defended, Of course I won't use it anymore, uncle. With this prejudice, I plan to let him see my truest side, let her see the truest me, and use my true side to pursue her and conquer her. You, are you going to confess to Dugu Yan? Shui Xing frowned and said. Yes, uncle, Shui Bang said. Shui Xing tapped his finger on the table and said, Do you know that secrets, as few people know the better, if your true temperament is revealed by her, it will attract your cold-blooded age? Suspicion. Moreover, I don't think that your true side can be favored by the lone goose. I believe she will not reveal it. Besides, uncle, if I don't try it, I will be unwilling. If we succeed, then we will have a stable backing behind us. Even if we fail, there will be no loss, Avalanche said. After weighing the pros and cons, Prince Shui Xing knocked on the table and said, Okay, that's it. In the past few days, you will control your crotch for me and run less into the hook. I will find a few a person who is good at emotional problems will give you a surprise attack to make up for this knowledge. 
at the same time, I will also invite Dugu Goose to come with him. Prince Shui Xing added, Remember, this is your last chance. I will create a time for you to get along. Whether you can win the heart of the lone geese depends on you. Shui Bang's tongue licked his lips and said, Don't worry, uncle, I will definitely take the heart of Dugu Goose. In his mind, it was the beautiful scenery with the Dugu Goose in his dream last night. In the following time, at Prince Shui Xing's birthday party, in addition to an invitation letter to Dugu Bo, he also gave an invitation letter to Dugu Goose. Shui Xing, besides me, also invited Yan Yan. What does he want to do? Dugu Bo said displeased Ly. Although Dugu Bo was grateful to Shui Xing for saving himself, at the same time, he also disliked Prince Shui Xing's behavior. He always wanted to tie himself to the ship of the Heaven Do Empire, Prince Shui Bang, Prince Shui Bang. After all, Dugu Bo's nature dictates that he likes freedom and doesn't like being restrained. Prince Shui Xing's behavior is undoubtedly to restrain Dugu Bo with kindness. He often sent invitations to Dugu Bo, inviting Dugu Bo to be a guest at Shui Xing's mansion to bring the relationship closer. Although Dugu Bo was not happy in his heart, he also lost the face of Prince Shui Xing due to the favor of the shelter. Now that even his own granddaughter is in the scope of invitation, is it possible that he is planning to beat his own granddaughter? Dugu Bo quickly guessed the purpose of Prince Shui Xing. A long time ago, Prince Shui Xing had matched Prince Avalanche with his granddaughter. Unfortunately, besides Avalanche, his granddaughter also had a blue lightning tyrant dragon sect. The kid is pursuing it. Just the shebang boy. Even if he is not a dude like the rumors outside, he is not worthy of my granddaughter. Dugu Bo said displeased Ly. The little cabbage he grows, he even looks down on Yu Tianun, the proud son of the blue electric Tyrannosaurus, let alone Shui Bang a waste prince who has obviously gone to prostration after running through the hook and playing with him. It's nothing, go there once you go. Anyway, it's impossible for Yan Yan to like avalanches. The old man just happened to let Shui Xing die. Time flew fast, and a few days later, the birthday of Prince Shui Xing arrived. Grandpa, I don't want to go to Prince Shui Xing's mansion, Dugu Yan said. Yan Yan, since the prince invited you, we can't lose the courtesy we should have, Dugu Bo said. Okay. Dugu Goose said with a flat mouth. The grandfather and grandson came to the front of Prince Shui Xing's mansion in the daytime in advance, but they saw Shui Bang Shui Xing's uncle and nephew staying in front of the gate early, waiting for the grandson of Dugu Bo. Ha ha ha, Dugu Sr. is here, my humble house is really brilliant. Shui Xing said to Dugu Bo with a smile on his face. Shui Xing, you are not a humble house, you are the prince's mansion. Dugu Bo laughed. Ha 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 ha, Sr., you laughed. Shui Xing brought Dugu Bo and Dugu Goose into the prince's mansion, and the two were talking and laughing like an old friend who hadn't seen each other for several years. When he arrived near the pavilion, Shui Xing reached out on the stone seat in front of him, and the black and white chess pieces were already set. Dugu Sr., you love to play chess. I am ready. The birthday banquet is opened in the evening. How many rounds should we kill? Shui Xing laughed and said that he came to the side table, sat down. Yeah. Dugubo came to the side of the chess table and sat down and said, Indeed, I haven't experienced Prince Shui Xing's chess skills for a long time. Let me see if your chess skills have improved or regressed. Shui Xing took out a black piece from the chess basket, and when he was about to play, he turned to look at Dugu Goose and Shui Bang, and said, Let my granddaughter come to my prince's mansion for the first time. Didn't you invite it? Dugu Bo smiled. Yes, but the prince's mansion is very big. It would be inappropriate for granddaughter to watch our two old guys playing chess here. Why not do this? Shui Xing said to Shui Bang, Shui Bang, you take the lone goose. Let's go and visit the king's mansion. Okay, Yan Yan, I'll take you to visit the prince's mansion, Shui Bang said. Dugu Yan said, no, I'll stay here to watch grandpa play chess. Dugu Goose didn't like avalanches, so naturally she couldn't visit any so-called palace with him. She had no interest in this palace at all, and it was only because of being invited. Dugu Bo also said at this time, Yan Yan, you can go with him. It's really meaningless to watch our two old guys play chess here. Okay, said Dugu Yan. At this time, Shui Bang left the pavilion with the lone geese. Dugu Bo and Shui Xing were killed on the chessboard. While playing, Dugu Bo said. Shui Xing, our children and grandchildren have their own children and grandchildren. We old guys, we are all old. Shui Xing smiled and said, Senior, what you said is. The implication, Shui Xing can also hear, that is whether your nephew can chase my granddaughter, 
that is the matter of the two of them, you should not be too mixed in the future. Shui Xing invited own granddaughter to play chess and let own nephew take Du Gu Goose to visit the prince's mansion. This intention shouldn't be too obvious. Although Du Gu Bo was unhappy, he didn't break it. On the roof above the pavilion, a figure in a black robe stood on the roof, looking at the old man with dark green beard and hair opposite Prince Shui Xing through the crystal tiles. Is this Du Gu Bo? My heart is really big. Du Gu Bo didn't expect that Shui Bang would attack Own's granddaughter. No, Prince Shui Xing would not have thought that Own's nephew would use that method. The figure in the black robe flashed, and the next moment appeared at the top of a house in the distance. Shui Bang wandered around the palace with the lone geese. At first, Dugu Goose thought that Shui Bang would pursue himself like before, but did not think about it. On the way, Shui Bang was much quieter, like a good guide, introducing every aspect of the prince's mansion, everywhere. This also relieved Dugu Goose, and it seemed that the dude prince had given up his mind. The Dugu Goose is naturally very giving face and walks through most of the prince's mansion with Shui Bang. The prince's mansion is very large, like a small fortress. It has a private pavilion, a personal library, a place for trainers, a mimicry training room, etc. The two came to a secluded garden. There was no one else in this garden, only Shui Bang and Dugu Goose. His Royal Highness, the palace is over, I want to go back to Grandpa? Dugu Yan said impatiently. Seeing no one around, it was a quiet place, and an unknown premonition suddenly rose in Dugu Yan's heart. No hurry, Miss Dugu Goose, the prince's mansion is very big, and we have been there one by one. Shui Bang smiled. Where? Dugu Yan said vigilantly. There was a fragrance in the air, which smelled very well and made people intoxicated. Dugu Yan Chong nose couldn't help sniffing. Is this the fragrance of the garden? She suddenly felt a trance, and then she shook her body and fell heavily to the ground. At the moment when her consciousness disappeared, a generous shoulder supported her, and she looked at the person in front of her with dim eyes, Shui Bang, looking at herself with silvery eyes, as if she was a naked prostitute, waiting for him to taste it. I haven't taken you to my room yet. Shui Bang supported the lone geese and looked at the bewildered lone geese with presumptuous eyes. Feeling the soft touch from his hands, his heart could hardly be filled with desire, and he could not wait for the little beauty in front of him to rectify the law on the spot. Avalanche. Dot you. Dugu Yan was very flustered, but couldn't stand the violent drug addiction, and passed out. Ha ha ha, Dugu Goose, you will be the prince from now on. Shui Bang laughed wildly, and carried the Dugu Goose and walked towards his room. Shui Bang kicked open the door of the room, walked in carrying the lone geese, and closed the door with a kick. He threw the drowsy lone geese onto the bed, then pulled the ropes to tie the lone geese's hands and feet, then activated the surrounding image crystals to face the bed and then eagerly took off his clothes and walked towards the lone geese on the bed. Looking at Dugu Goose like a quiet sleeping beauty, her emerald green hair spreads flat on the bed like a folding fan. Her appearance is good, her skin is fat, and she is young, but because of martial soul, her front is convex and backward. It has a flavor that other women don't have. This scene made Shui Bang's eagerness hard to extinguish. Everything in the dream seems to be about to become reality. It is also the lone geese in the garden that is fascinated by the same method, and then. He took down the Dugu Goose, got the support of Dugu Bo, and then used the same method to win Ning Rongrong, and obtained the support of the Seven Treasure Glazed Glass Sect. Relying on the beauty, he embarked on an emperor's hegemony and brutally took his stupid big brother. The image of trampling on the soles of the feet fiercely. This bright future is enrolling him. Especially, Dugu Goose is still a rare stunner of him which is many times better than those Rouge fans when he went shopping in Gulan. Little beauty, I'm here. Shui Bang licked his lips and rushed towards the lone goose. 